what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Super Renegade 1 from here with a reaction to a video I was actually asked to react to. This is called Chris Eubank, I think I fucked up that name. McGregor is an Irish warrior. This video, I was actually, uh, someone requested me to watch this video. I won't say the person's name just in case they don't want me to say who they are. The original video is by, and I'm probably going to fuck up this name too. Random uh, Sports Random uh, Sports I think is how you pronounce it If I fucked that up I'm sorry uh, I did ask permission to react to this video On Twitter So anyone who says Oh well, you shouldn't watch, You shouldn't react to this video Because you probably didn't ask permission No I did So it Gives me All the right to watch the video And I do I have screenshots I think But I am going to start this video 20 seconds into the obvious video and I'm not going to watch the entire thing I mean I will be watching the whole thing but you won't see it go to the original video which is linked in the description the second link will actually lead you to the original content creators channel which is Random R Sports I still think I fucked up that name if I did I'm so sorry uh, he actually or oh, she, I don't know, I don't really care what gender, is almost at a thousand subs. Go check him out, or her, I, because even if it's a dude, you got to say, or her, you know, or check them out, because it doesn't matter, even if it is a guy, someone's going to get insulted somehow. Uh, the only thing I know about these people, because I've never heard of Chris Urbank or McGreg Conor McGregor, I think is his name, the only thing I know is that McGregor is a UFC fighter and boxer. I don't know anything about UFC or boxing because personally I don't find UFC or boxing very entertaining. If, the, if I act a little bit scattered it's because I am doing this really late at night. I'm getting kind of tired. So if I don't seem very enthused it's because I'm kind of sleepy. I had other stuff to do and had to do this really late. And it's kind of it's stuffing me up a little. I do it early in the morning, but I can't do that, so, and I'm, I'm, it's starting to get to me a bit more, you can see it in my eyes and shit, so, like I said, if you want to check out the original video, it is on Random Mars Sports, I still think I stuffed up the name, if I did, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm half asleep, really, and I, I, I've got to get to bed after this, and I haven't uh, eaten anything in probably six hours, so that's not helping. Uh... The first link will actually lead you to the original video. The second link will lead you to the actual channel. This is post more. I'm see. I'm stuffing up. I'm just gonna get into the video. Like I said, the links in the description down below. Let's go. And the Irish, when it comes to warfare, have ghost-like spirits. The Irish do fight. Kind of scary. Only learns through actually going through that fight. vortex. Uh, it was a beautiful thing he did because there was no way Steve Collins had the ability to beat me. He had nothing on me and yet he did. He beat me. Not just once, twice. What I say that's about a, this particular fact is a very he interesting looks point. Tough. Because, you know, what we know about Conor McGregor is as follows. He has heart. Huh? He's hard. Huh? That MMA, mm -hmm. that Kicking and that elbowing and that, so he's hard, you know. And that, in actual fact, if you're talking to I have a lot of respect for UFC fighters and boxers because of what they put their bodies to. Can you absorb punishment? That he can do, and he's a winner. And you know, to top it all off, he is Irish. Everyone is forgetting that. That's why, to me. It is a very interesting fight. I know to the boxing aficionados, it's not a contest. I understand yeah, they that. do. They have but forgetting about this amazing fighting spirit of uh, the Irishman. They've come through some very hard times. You know, Celtic warriors. They do have a ton of fight. That's what them. makes this fight a very interesting fight. Very, very interesting. You've been around Floyd, obviously having your son here. Is he taking the fight seriously, do you think? He, he better be. You know, 
have to take every what fight does that seriously. Mean? Let's actually uh, quantify what that means. Is he taking there's it always seriously? a chance you're going to lose. Yes, he is. But I want to know if he's That's why training I with fight the intensity that to he win. should be. Look. That's why when I fight, I usually don't think about I'm fighting the, the, the guy because I'm usually... Usually you got to fight a dude if you're a dude. And don't get it twisted. Don't hit women. But if a chick hits you in the balls or something, or smacks you for some reason, and you did nothing, absolutely nothing, you didn't provoke her, you didn't talk to her in an offensive way, you didn't say anything to her or about her or about her family members or anything, nothing. And she hits you in the nuts or something. And this is where gender equality comes to bite chicks in the ass. When chicks think gender equality, they think, no, you shouldn't hit women no matter what. No. Gender equality is when if you were a dude and you did that to me, I would sock you in the mouth. What that means is I would punch you in the face. Okay? Same thing. I'd give you the exact same thing if you were a dude. I'd punch you in the mouth. And that's where chicks tend to think, oh, well, I'm a woman, so I can hit this dude in the balls. And he done nothing to me and remember this is just me saying if if he's done nothing so I'm gonna hit him in the nuts you wait, 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 you can't hit me gender equality the chick gets smacked and people are like hey you can't hit women I would hella yell hey gender equality bitch I wouldn't be talking it to the woman but I say gender equality bitch because that's exactly what I do to a guy and that's real my sister's twacked me in the nuts a few times and yeah I smacked her Indefinitely, but it's different. She's my sister. God, we practically killed each other a couple of times. Damn. And she draws blood, man, so I, I got no regrets on giving her a twat. Uh, damn it, I've lost what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, in a fight, there's always the chance you can lose, especially if you're too cocky. Is that... You know, he may do all of his hours. He may do his running, and he may do his training in the gym. When he's hitting the bag, is he hitting it like this? And he does all his work. You see now, there was no intensity in that. He's actually got to a win these well fights, you've got to be training for the same hours, but it's got to be more like <sighs> That's real. If you don't fight with intensity and you don't fight thinking about the possibility you could lose like you have that little niggle in the back of your head saying I could possibly even if it's someone you know for a fact cannot beat you just think I could lose I could lose and then your brain's going to be like okay I don't want to lose and then then your gears are going to turn and I'm getting so fucking tired right now man I'm looking at, at things across the way it is so late and I can't do the video tomorrow Oh, I want to, but man, I, I really can't. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end off this video now. That way, you actually have to check out the original video. I'm sorry, I don't, it seems like I'm not enthusiastic. I am, I just, I'm really bloody tired, man. i got to get to bed. I've been pumping out videos non-stop. If you've seen my channel, man, you have seen the videos I pumped out. I'm sorry if it seems like I wasn't very enthusiastic, but like I said, I'm really tired. I've been working my ass off making these vids and shit, but like I said, I, I was requested in a comment on I don't remember what video it was to check this out. Check it out, ask the original content creator, which is uh, something I do to make sure that no one talks shit to me uh, on Twitter or on YouTube about God, I'm dragging on and it's getting me even more sleepy. Oh, also, there was this little bitch on fucking Twitter who was talking shit to me uh, about me asking if I could react to some of Gamerank's, Gamerank's or whatever the hell their name is, uh, videos. Hey, dude, you see this video? Don't don't talk shit, man. I don't care if you weren't talking shit, if you were just saying that it, there's no way I could react to their videos. i got top ten videos that I think are fucking awesome. Alright? And just know, alright, just because I seem tired and I seem unopposing, just do not talk shit. Okay, I'm too tired to say what I would do. 
I was going to say to that person if they see this video, motherfucker. I I did respond to them. In fact, comment down below if I'm not going to react to a lot of videos like this. But comment down below any videos you guys would like me to actually check out. Uh, if it's a video I'm not interested in, because I'll check out maybe 10, 20 seconds of a video. If it's something I'm not interested in, I'm not going to react to the video. But if it's something I like, then I'll definitely check it out. I'm going to react to Rise and Shine, the Overwatch short. I'm sorry, I've been blabbing on, man. I'm on I'm a motor mouth and I'm so tired. I'm so sorry that this reaction was not as... Um, energetic as most but like I said I am so tired man link is in the description down below to the original video and of course the original content creators channel I'm not gonna say it again because I know I'm gonna stuff it up if I haven't been stuffing it up thank god yes god but until the next video kakete peace renegade out alright ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to tap that like button and comment and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, Pakete, peace.